Hi there, I'm Ginny of the YouTube channel Finickety Reader. Now, you may have noticed that I'm a nerd. You know, if you've listened to pretty much any of my reviews. I was that kid in school who spent break and lunch reading books instead of going outside. And even though I'm studying history at uni, back then maths was my favourite subject. I loved the logic of it, and how, if you know the right formulas, the answer is reachable and solid. Maths I get, but the ways people can twist, misuse, and just plain misunderstand it are a whole nother issue. And that's what's explained in Damned Lies and Statistics by Joel Best. In modern Western society, we have a habit of just taking statistics at face value. It's a concrete number, so we assume, hey, it must be true. And the way that information comes to us makes checking those figures a whole lot harder. But how sure are we of our data? Damned Lies and Statistics talks about two main ways stats can get messed up and mangled. Poor information gathering, and what he calls mutant statistics. Statistics can be born bad, because the activists that want to get our attention, mostly with the best of intentions, gather information incorrectly. They collect it so as to get as few false negatives as possible, or sometimes simply guesstimate, aiming high because this is a really big problem, as far as I can see. They can also turn bad, by someone mishearing, misremembering, or simply misunderstanding. An example given in the book is how an estimate of 150,000 American women having anorexia morphed into 150,000 women dying from it each year. And these figures get passed on like a meme. That false anorexia statistic made its way into news columns and books. Joel is pretty good at laying things out in an understandable way, explaining why these things happen, and why we should all be a bit more knowledgeable. There were two points where I got tripped up. An annotation that got into the maths without much explanation, and a graph that could have been worded a lot better. But on the whole, it was a book I'd highly recommend. I hope you found this video interesting, and you're having fun reading. You can like, subscribe, or be my friend on Goodreads if you want to. I'll talk to you later.